he would be screaming, we don't dance like that. They would moonwalk and, and you know, do all like, you know, this stuff, you know? <laughs> oh man, I must've drawn a pair of gloves dapping, I don't know, over 5,000 times. <laughs> <laughs> there was this episode of Atlanta just aired episode eight of season four and I got a lot of people who told me first of all watch the episode just trust us and then I got a couple of texts from people saying I watched this episode and I couldn't think of anybody but you man the whole oh. time and I said, oh, Jesus. I was like, man, tell me why. What was it? And they're like, mm-mm. Mm. <laughs> you watch it. You just got to go watch it. You, you know, I ain't going to tell you. You you do your work. I'm telling you a goddamn thing. <laughs> yeah, it, it was pretty much like that. Because <laughs> they didn't tell me a goddamn thing. So this is the episode. And uh, how many of y'all have seen this? If you, if you have, you probably know what they're talking about. But if you haven't, I'm just going to let the episode kind of set itself up. American Network. Now, I'm going to have to break this up a little bit. So if I come in, I'm just trying not to show too many minutes at a time. Mm -hmm. So don't, don't get mad at me if I interrupt because I just can't do that. I had to break it up a little bit. It's a story so unbelievable. Disney, for those who are listening, Disney names first black movie in TV head. And y'all like, who the hell was that? Well, pay attention. So this whole thing is based on a, uh, a documentary. This episode is based on a documentary called The Goof Who Sat By The Door. Okay. So a lot of people are thinking of me because first of all, black animator yeah, to yeah. love Disney, but this thing is funny. Now, some people started watching this and thought this was real. Sure. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. it looks real. Yeah. yeah, so because they play this thing. Well, I don't know, the, the title is too much of a tip of the hand. <laughs> well, the way they play it out, a lot of people saw this and thought, I'm sure not, and I, I'm not gonna say a lot, but there's some people who who saw this and, and probably thought that this was some, uh, this was some real history. Because I, I would tell you this, man, they play, they play it up well. They play it up well the way they present this. They play it up just like a documentary. <laughs> Get this part. His father used to play Tom Jones. We had to name him Thomas. I'm gonna tell you a little something. When it first came on, he talked about the first black head over at Disney for just a second. I thought, oh shit, they about to tell me some knowledge. <laughs> I, thought, I, thought it was kind of real. <laughs> I thought this was real, man. But uh, just for a second, just for a second, I was like, oh shit, uh, this is somebody you know. I thought it was gonna be uh, something true. But like, when they got to this part, mm -hmm. and I was like, okay, they bullshit. <laughs> I mean, you could be sitting at home watching a program with white folks with nice houses. We couldn't even ride our bikes outside because take it from you. <laughs> <laughs> now. I thought this is where they were like, because they were being kind of serious and everything. This whole thing ended up being about how this guy saw Goofy was black and decided to make the blackest movie <laughs> over at a, over at a, at Disney, and is how his vision of a Goofy of a Goofy movie ended up being whitewashed by the company because <laughs> because oh and and it's funny because some of this is actually true because they talked about like how Goofy was black. A mm -hmm. lot of people. Yeah, and, that's, and, that's like a thing that's I, I've I've heard that multiple times. Yeah, and mm -hmm. some of that extends from uh, I don't I don't know if this because I don't know if this is true or not. I don't know if this animator actually described uh, Goofy as uh, as 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 black, but uh, yeah, this this thing went. It's just amazing the length they took this to where you know they did a docu a fake documentary about a guy who wanted to make the blackest movie over at Disney and was prepared to get fired over it and how a Goofy movie is supposed to be this radical black film. Mm -hmm. It ended up being the movie that you see now. Goofy, please. <laughs> After class one day, he showed me some of these pieces. This kid is from another universe, like a whole nother planet. Black kids really like Goofy. And like black people identified like in a Goofy movie, like, oh, that's like, uh, he's a black single dad. Like I've heard that before. 
Yeah, that's what they I, said here, I, man. I've heard this before. So this has been, this has been it's not, it's not like stay as a fact. I've heard, I, it's in the zeitgeist. Yeah, right, right, right. Right. out there. Yes. And so that's, that's why, this is what's so great about Atlanta. Atlanta takes these things that are like going through like black culture, even if it's still a, subtle or only, you know, it's on the undercurrents of black culture and people only we know about it. And he's taking and making an episode out of it because that's what they did. And what you're saying here about Goofy being a single black dad, yeah. that's what they would do. Like this guy's going crazy because he went to make this movie about a single black dad, which is Goofy. And and, uh, Max. And, and Max, with Max and Goofy, yeah, and that's that's what they touch on here. Yeah. Black masculinity in the media was in a really weird place. But this whole goes into a whole thing with a C, and he has a son. You know, he always talked about how if this was supposed to be between him and his son, uh, the, a Goofy movie. It was right. supposed to be like a, their, their story. I think in the movie, Dad laid in a lot of things. That's why he made it a fishing trip. It's the same one we used to take. <laughs> <laughs> and you see the Goofy movie. Yeah, yeah, you see, yeah, the, you know, because yeah, I know you yeah, grew yeah. up with a Goofy. I did, movie. I did. Yeah, and this that's is why I grew up with it. But that I, I always heard that. Yeah. That oh, the Goofy's a black dad. Mm -hmm. I always heard that. Like a lot of black kids, I I knew like that was their favorite Disney movie. Yeah. Because yeah, those are black characters. I was yeah. Like, what? And I but uh, <laughs> so I guess Donald Glover <laughs> was one of those black kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and there it is, and there it is. So yeah, I, I, as soon as I saw, because I had no, I had no idea about this because I hadn't been watching Atlanta. But as soon as I saw the little black in the theater watching Goofy, I was like, I see what they're gonna yeah. Do. Wow. It, okay. And, <laughs> and it, 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 it man, it starts out. <laughs> And the funny thing is, it'll pull you in because they're playing it so straight. And yes. Even if you realize it's not, it's not, it's not real. No. Some people it took a while for them to realize it's not real. <laughs> but then this dude started losing his mind. <laughs> oh yeah, I was wondering why? Why they're not showing him? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's crazy. Yeah, he started. Look, he started going crazy. He <laughs> yuck. <laughs> they actually said he's like that? he said he was by himself, and I tried to talk to him, and then he just looked at me. and He did this this lab. He said he looked at me and went like yuck, yuck. He said he was he thought he was turning to goop. Oh no. <laughs> and he was the way he would like. He, <laughs> <laughs> and throughout, he starts getting, because you thought it was going to be a story where he was getting along with everybody and the studio loved him, but now he's getting blacker at the studio <laughs> and, and the people started getting a little getting nervous. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, he's, <laughs> yeah, right, he right. started getting, like the animators started being like, what do you, why do you, why is he, why is he talking to me like this? He would be screaming, we don't dance like that. They would moonwalk and, and, you know, do all like, you know, this stuff, you know? <laughs> oh man, I must have drawn a pair of gloves dapping, I don't know, over 5,000 times. <laughs> <laughs> well, when I poked my head in, Thomas went, who ordered the white rice? And they all just laughed. And uh, I just didn't get it. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, my God. <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah. They got people in here, like, like they got cameos, like, like Brian McKnight. Uh, it's talking about uh, the music in the movie. It's yeah, man. It, they, they, this is crazy. I just didn't get it. I've been listening to this Tevin Campbell, and from <laughs> then on, it just <laughs> had to be Tevin Campbell. <laughs> he unfortunately is not. Oh, he's not. Wow, I'm gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> got enough going on. I just came out the closet. I'm not, I got enough going on in my I life. Why he be in the episode? <laughs> I'm sure they tried to get him. I'm sure they tried to get him. Oh my god! But yeah, man. I'm, yeah, they 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 have shit in here. I'll show you this last thing. They just have shit in here. We just lose. This guy's losing his mind because they start taking this away from him, and uh, all his ideas are just being again, just you know, made not as black. Which some of his ideas were crazy because he said at the end of the, <laughs> he said at the end of, the, of 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 a Goofy movie, uh, Goofy was supposed to get rolled up on by the cops and get shot. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it does explode. <laughs> <laughs> I heard he wanted Goofy and Max to get pulled over early on, and, uh, you know. <laughs> why, why would he do that? <laughs> That's a good question. That's a good question. <laughs> and then they got this right here where he finally started losing his shit at the studio. <laughs> I want to, I want to, I'm waiting for the moment where he puts these wearing white gloves. And he's uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Are they gonna do that? <laughs>
back then, mental health wasn't something that we talked about. I didn't even know what to characterize what I saw him going through. I mean, he's playing so straight. <laughs> I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's, that's the thing. That's just kind of like, I don't know how to feel about this. <laughs> I was watching this. I'm like, I, this is so crazy, man. Yeah. But, you know, yet it makes sense because, again, this was something, again, that was going through the, you know. It was, it, it was, it was there. I'm, yeah. It I was, remember. I yeah. remember. Yeah. And people were talking to me because they were saying, well, you know, you talked about how animation was driving you crazy and, uh, and how you, you know, you always talk about how Disney takes things and how they, you know, treat characters of color and whatnot. And plus just a nerdy dude being an animator. So a lot of people told, told me to watch this and I'm like, Jesus, I could see some of this early on being me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah you could have yeah. gone down that road. Yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> that's why I got out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but man, just the... It's the, the the whole concept of making a, a a whole episode dedicated to a fake documentary about a dude who's losing it because he can't make the goofy movie like he wanted to. I this I thought this was incredible. I thought this was amazing. I laughed so hard at this man, but yet was so impressed with the way that they uh, everybody played it straight faced. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, that's what's so good about. It. I'm sure that, that there's a lot of great outtakes <laughs> for this. But, yeah, yeah, it's just weird. Cause, yeah, I mean, if anything, this proves just that you know Donald Glover he was a '90s kid and then yeah. he was a millennial on me because because that was a thing. That was this kind of the thing. It was it was sometimes spoken about. It was sometimes, but it was always there. It was always hanging there. I mean, I was aware of it, and I was like, wow, just to focus on on that that little kind of weird detail. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and you wow. know, and, yeah. and plus the way people talk about how the the goofy movie it was the one that kind of solidified that he was black he was black yeah because of uh the whole thing with the uh, uh power line or whatever his name oh is. yeah um, yeah yes. yeah no nah, yeah y'all gonna nah, you should watch this there's a there's a bunch of stuff in here that's hilarious but y'all catch it yourself man if you haven't seen it it's 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 hilarious and also kind of thought provoking I. I Show you this one last thing here, and then we out. <laughs> What's that? Get pulled over by the pig. Yeah, they said that the scene, the scene was changed into the Bigfoot scene. Alone, your message is a fantasy, as elusive and unreal as Bigfoot. <laughs> man, well, this thing go. is wild. It is wild. The ideas that they have with this man, y'all check it out. Uh, that's Atlanta season. Season four, episode eight. Hmm. So yeah, man, I, I I love this episode. Lee Joseph Brown. He says, hi, Corey, please tell me that you saw the latest episode of Atlanta. I thought instantly of you and Martin. I say you more, but I don't want to say too much and spoil it for you. We, man, look, go watch, go watch uh, yesterday, Sunday service. We talked about it, man. We talked about that well, episode. I'm yeah, I'm happy you saw it. Um, I didn't see the Sunday service yet. I was have, I'm about halfway through it. I wanted I I wanted you to watch it and Martin, but I really wanted Juicy to watch it. What the go the goofy episode? Yes, I, because he loves that. Man, we watched that Show. yesterday, and did, it, I did, I wanted him to see it. <laughs> man, when we watched that yesterday, the thing is. Mm -hmm. He loves that. He loves the goofy movie so much that he. Right. Chris, one of the and I don't say this in an insult at all. Not at all. This is this. Is, mm. I mean, take it as a compliment if you want. Chris being one of the whitest people that I know. Right. He knew that goofy being black was a thing in black culture. No oh, good. <laughs> Hilarious. He's like, I've heard this. I heard this. This is sad. This, this. <laughs> he looked at Mark and Mark like, I don't, I don't know what this, I don't know what this means. And Chris was like, no. <laughs> This is a thing. This is a thing with, with you black people. You know, you did you, this. Is a, you should know this. <laughs> yeah, I, th I thought of you guys, but I thought of Chris Moore because I know he loves that movie. Yeah. And it's been funny to, to see, see them, you know, how he played out. And it's funny because Donald Glover has mentioned that I think in the show that Goofy was a black single father. Yeah. Page is torn out of his little sketchbook. You know, we would call him like, we were just messing with him. Um, I think he was just trying to fit in, but he wasn't really like us, you know? I don't know if I ever told us, you know, people about my upbringing, and I wasn't, it wasn't this bad, but I was like, holy shit, that, that is me. Call him on it. I mean, he just wanted to let draw. See, let me see here. Hold and on. He, you know, we would call him white. We were just messing with him. Um, I think he was just trying to fit in, but he wasn't really like <laughs> us, you know? I mean, make fun of you for anything. <laughs> 
And I don't think <laughs> See, that's what, it's not a fourth of rails from there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that's what I said. Now, wait a minute. No, this is the same. <laughs> <laughs> and that's when it fell off the tracks and that was yeah. that. And you couldn't like, put it nah. back on. <laughs> I was like, yeah, illusion is broken, man. <laughs> no, <Yep. it's> a, <laughs> but man, I will give them crazy respect for going in and playing this thing so serious and straight faced through the whole through the whole show. It felt oh, like yeah. a real documentary, but every now and then they would just do it, something that was so ridiculous that you had to laugh and be like, okay, that's that's obviously a joke right there. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> he had a lot of pressure, man. Uh, the culture, the job itself. What man, these people are playing out these roles, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> so, they really going in, like man. <laughs> Brian McKnight, serious as hell, man. Hell yeah. <laughs> Is when the dude came in with the with the with the crutches and he <laughs> he said he went to, he said he went to a neighborhood and tried to figure out how, how black people dance and got his ass whooped. <laughs> he ran up. Yeah, yeah, that that, <laughs> that broke the episode too. Yeah, let me see here. <laughs> yeah, it, no, it, definitely. <laughs> there was other parts where he's talking all crazy in the boardroom. One yeah. day, there was a board meeting. All the Disney heads were there, and he did this chilling laugh. Like, <laughs> <laughs> there was no need for any of that, but I loved it. I loved it. <laughs> Man, it's almost like Apocalypse Now, the whole thing, because right. the dude is losing his mind and he's kind of, yep. he's becoming goofy. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you see my knees? You see this, see this yeah. of these knees? Draw, keep, draw this. Get this down, okay? <laughs> One time, I just couldn't take it. Broke My fingers were just bleeding. <laughs> draw this. Draw this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, here it is. here's that part. <laughs> that dude came in on crutches. Now, Tom went out on the sign, researched, hung out, went to a couple black cookouts, said the wrong thing, <laughs> got his ass beat. But now, now... He's more aware. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's it right there, man. <laughs> Boy, that it, and, and I like the way they, you know, intentionally tried to break the seriousness and let you know. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, it was yeah exactly. Yeah. Exactly. No, it was, it was good. Because, uh, you know, a lot of people get caught up in that, start quoting this shit and reciting it, thinking it's real and shit. Yeah, you know what I mean? Somebody, there, there are people in the chat right now confused. Oh, there's, there are people in the chat right now talking about, oh my God, is this real? <laughs> oh man, see, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they they had to break the episode, they had to. Victor Necrofunk talking about shit, I didn't know this history, is that real? <laughs> hey, <laughs> Victor, you're not alone, man. I yeah. watched this in the beginning and for like, man, the first five minutes they had me, man. Yep, sure did. It's at a point where I, the thing is, I know Disney history and I said, okay, now nah, I know none of this shit happened. I mean, for, for a second, I thought maybe they bury in their own black history, but I was like, nah, this shit right. didn't happen. Nah, this is, this is ridiculous right here. But no, I, I, I love yeah, that episode, it, man. I love that episode. Good. That's yeah. the kind well, of you, shit that I love Atlanta for. Well, you're gonna like episode two whenever you watch it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll get to it, man. I'm going to get to it. I really am. Right. Next, Especially after seeing that and how much I love that, I'm going to get to it. 